Creating a culturally responsive school environment involves intentionally incorporating all diverse viewpoints in education. This includes all stakeholders, teachers, students, parents, community partners. I'm Lakeisha Palmore, an assistant principal candidate, and this is how we can do this together. First things first, a diverse curriculum. Thanks to JCPS and their hard work with vetting EL education and doing their research, this program, this curriculum is already there for us. This allows the students to see themselves represented in the materials and fosters empathy, as well as understanding one another. Multicultural education, we need to celebrate diversity and promote cultural awareness and understanding. This could include trainings, workshops, events, and guest speakers from all other different cultures. These are ways we can create a culturally responsive environment. Working with the SBDM, reviewing policies and revising school policies to make sure that they are inclusive and equitable for all students. This could include discipline, grading, and access to certain resources and opportunities. That's just one way we can, all, we can create a culturally responsive environment. Empowering the students to share their perspectives and experiences at Shackley Elementary and involving them in a decision-making process within the school. This is another way we can create a culturally responsive environment. This could be done through student council, student-led programs and clubs, and other forums to allow the students to speak their mind. Fostering partnerships with diverse community stakeholders and organizations is a way we can create a culturally responsive environment. We can do this by having parent nights, parent engagement nights, different programs at the school. This helps create a sense of belonging for the parents and the students and to learn about different backgrounds. Culturally responsive teaching strategies help teachers acknowledge and build upon cultural background information. We could do this by incorporating culturally responsive examples for, follow, for allowing multiple perspectives in discussion and helping the teachers become more culturally responsive. We can do, we can do PD coaching cycles and coffee chats to help the teachers implement these strategies. As a, as a leader, I have come with various back various opportunities and various uh, ideas and things that I've done throughout my academic career. As a partner of this member of this, act, this uh, admin team at Shackley Elementary, I bring energy, I bring lots of fun, but I also bring fairness, understanding, and caring, empathy, things that teachers need right now because times are hard. I appreciate you guys taking time to talk with me and hear, hear my thoughts and my viewpoints on creating equitable classroom spaces. Again, my name is Lakeisha Palmore. Thank you.